everybody, Bat Weather Freak here. Um, here I have the uh, quick update on what is going on on Tropical Storm Laura and Hurricane Marco. And I wanted to first, first off start with apologizing for not being able to upload a video, having having some technical issues with my computer, and uh, overall have haven't been able to upload um, a video in the past day or so. Now a lot of things have are going on with uh, Tropical Storm Laura and Hurricane Marco. So Hurricane Marco is the smallest of the systems, as you can see. You know, we have it right over here, of course, Tropical Storm Laura right over here. Um, one of the things I want to point out is that, um, you know, uh, Laura, Laura has been surprising everyone, uh, just as Marco. But let's start with uh, with uh, Tropical Storm Laura, since it's the first one up here in the list of the National Hurricane Center. Um, as of the 5 p.m. update, it is moving west, west northwest at 20 miles, 21 miles per hour, with a minimum pressure of 1,000 millibars. So it's actually getting stronger. It's maximum sustained winds at 60 miles an hour. This so far has been the lowest pressure uh, regarding uh, Tropical Storm Laura. Now let's take a look at the wind speed probabilities. As you can see, um, it is it, it is affecting Cuba. It is, seems like it's going to just about m miss Florida completely. Um, basically going, whoops. Well, what's going on here? Okay, let's go back here. Um, seems like it's actually, just wanted to press for the uh, pencil here. So basically lower is just going to go directly into the Gulf. That's what is uh, going on here. Now, very interesting point with Laura here is the fact that um, if you guys kind of look here, the center is in between Haiti and Cuba. What seems like is going to happen with Tropical Storm Laura is that it is probably going to ride the coast of Cuba. Um, I mean, not quite like that, but it's, in other words, it's not going to have a ton of land interaction and actually... Uh, that that if it does, then that will weaken the storm and and cause less impacts for whatever it goes and makes landfall, which it seems like it may be uh, anywhere from Louisiana to the Texas uh, Texas co uh, uh, coast. So that's something you guys need to keep an eye on. If you are anywhere in the central part, from all the way from Mississippi to Texas, you need to be paying attention to this particular storm. I get it. Everybody's focused on Hurricane Marco, but the fact is, Hurricane Marco. Is not going to be anything like Laura is going to be. Laura is going to be much stronger, and it's going to have significant impacts worse than uh, worse than than Marco. Now the issue that we're having here also is that Marco is going to make landfall first and saturate the uh, the ground and 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 already cause some kind of flooding and storm, storm surge. So whenever Laura approaches or, or arrives. It's basically just going to have or make things worse. That's basically what is going to end up happening. But let's take a look at the arrival time. So far, it's looking again like a potentially a, a Texas and Louisiana a, a border landfall. But again, it may change depending on the, the land interaction that it has with Cuba. Now, let's take a look at the, um, uh, the key messages from the National Hurricane Center. As you guys can see, uh, tropical storm conditions are expected across portions of Haiti and the south, uh, southeastern Bahamas and Cuba through Monday. Heavy rainfall is likely across Haiti, Cuba, and Jamaica through Monday, and this rain could cause mudslides and light threatening flash and urban flooding. Tropical storm conditions are possible over the middle and lower Florida Keys and then dry tortugas on Monday possible depending on the track that it takes while the details of the long range track and intensity forecast remain uncertain laura is forecasted to strengthen over the gulf of mexico and there is an increasing risk of dangerous storm surge wind and rainfall impacts along portions of the u.s gulf coast by the middle of the week this again this is what i was mentioning this could result in a prolonged period of hazardous weather for areas that are likely to be affected by marco so in other words it's like going to be uh like a one-two punch unfortunately uh, for these a lot of these areas now if i zoom in here see florida keys are under a tropical storm watch of course tropical storm warning for cuba and then we have the potential land site uh, or landfall site here as a hurricane. Now, how strong is this going to be? 
uh, it's going to be it's basically going to be a, a, a gamble at this point, but it's, everything is pointing out that it's going to be a strong storm when it makes landfall. And I'm going to show you guys, uh, you know, what some of the forecast models are saying. So you guys can see a uh, decent amount of rain here, but the majority of it, of course, is going to be where it makes landfall. Um, we're looking at uh, potentially uh, up to, uh, what is it, 10 to, to probably 15 inches of rain, which is a lot. It, it's enough to create massive flooding. Now let's go back and take a look at uh, take a look at Marco. Okay, here we got Marco. Well, actually, before we move on, let me let me pull up a different website here. Uh, let's take a look at Track the Tropics. Amazing site. If you guys have a chance, go visit it. It has valuable valuable information on it. Um, now I want to look up the. Um, All right, let's take a look here. The intensity forecast for Laura. Well, let's start. Let's first start with the uh, uh, what the um, satellite imagery. See how it looks like. Uh, if you want to load up, let's see if it loads up here. No, don't want to load up. I guess I'll Wi-Fi a little a little slow here. But let's give it a minute. All right, so there you go. Oh, come on. All right, let's go ahead and just skip that because it's who knows how long it's going to take. But you can kind of see a little bit there. Already show you the uh, forecast cone, but let's take a look at the spaghetti models. They're pretty good consensus that is going to make landfall in the Texas and uh, Louisiana border. Some weird uh, track here to the Florida Panhandle, which it's never uh, it's never uh, out of the question, of course, but the majority are saying it's going to be anywhere from Louisiana to Texas coast landfall. And then the uh, forecast intensity, the majority of models show it, of course, as a Cat 1, Cat 2 with a couple or yeah, a couple taking it to a Cat 3 or above a Cat 4 here on this one. Um, it's always a possibility because one thing that Marco is going to do is going to actually help uh Laura gets stronger. Marco is struggling right now because of the um oh let's take a look at this one. Yeah there you go. So you guys can see satellite imagery with uh Laura. Uh, you see all this feathering that means it's signs of intensification but again it's being disrupted by some some uh, uh, uh mountain interaction here but again if it stays off enough on of the coast of uh, Cuba may actually keep intensifying and be a much stronger storm once it arri arrives at the Gulf. Um, but uh, basically, that's what we have going on with Laura. Now let's go back and take a look at um, what the National Hurricane Center says for Marco. All right, Marco wind speed probability. So you can see almost the exact same spot, just a little further e uh, further east. So more like here. For the worst part, but again, where Laura is expected to make landfall during the week is going to be also this area, which you guys are going to get pretty good amount of wind. Arrival of times with her, for Hurricane Marco, we're talking about uh, potentially from Monday morning uh, to Monday afternoon. The forecast cone, let's see. So forecast cone, of course, it shows a hurricane landfall. In the uh, Louisiana area, New Orleans potentially. U.S. rainfall, not a lot, not nothing compared like uh, uh, like Laura, but still decent amount, enough to basically uh, uh, inundate and cause some problems for when Laura arrives. As far as the key points for Marco, heavy hurricane conditions, light threatening storm surge, and heavy rainfall are expected for Marco along portions of the Gulf Coast beginning on Monday. Interest in this area should follow any advice given by local government officials. Um, and then again, as far as Laura goes, Tropical Storm Laura could bring additional storm surge, rainfall, and wind impacts to portions of the U.S. Gulf Coast by the middle of next week. So basically, same thing. We are potentially going to see, uh, uh, you know, double, a one-two punch, like I said before. Now let me take a look at the... Um, Go back to um, accidentally came back to it but let's take a look and see what uh, this is interesting actually uh, let's show you the uh, storm surge potential 
if it loads up, of course. Okay, looks a little slow there, so let's skip that. But yeah, anyways, you guys can go to this website and access all this information. This is a very cool website. And uh, let's see what Marco's looking like in, on uh, satellite imagery, if it pulls up again. The problem that we're having also is uh, that uh, a lot of people are accessing these websites, so that's actually uh, swamping or, or really up overloading these websites. See, and it's not even pulling up, and that's the issue that we're having. But uh, okay, let's go to a different site. Let's go to Tropical Tidbits and show you what uh, the models are saying. Let's start with uh, uh, let me take a look there. All right, there you go. So you guys can see Marco here. Now, our GFS is showing Marco as a weak storm, actually. Not even a hurricane, but a weak storm making landfall in Louisiana coast. Uh, European model, it has, let's see. Um, yeah, European doesn't even show anything as far as Marco goes. Like, completely falling apart. Now, what about the uh, Canadian model? Let's see. Another Canadian model. Same thing as the European, kind of just falling apart. If you guys go here, 1006 millibar, that's a weak storm. And then you have uh, 1006 also for the Navy. So oh, pretty much all these storms are showing, or the forecast models are showing that it's not going to be much of a storm when it makes landfall. Now the um, H Wharf, H Wharf shows a uh, Thousand millibar, very very weak. Maybe high nine nineties. And the Hmon, let's take a look at the Hmon Marco. Now Hmon shows uh, more of a of a easterly track and also a, a little bit of a stronger storm. So nine eighty eight pressure at uh, at once it gets to the uh, barrier islands. So that's what is going on with uh, Marco. Now let's skip over to. Let me see if it loads up. I want to show you guys. Uh, it's not going to do that. All right. Well, let's uh, show them what the models say about uh, about Laura then. Let's see. So you got Marco making landfalls a weak storm. But then you got Laura shifting more towards the Texas coast as 958. Now, guys, this is a major hurricane making landfall in the coast of Texas and the border of uh, Texas and Louisiana. That's what the GFS is saying. European model. Let's see what the G, uh, European says. Let me go back. Now, GF uh, European shows again a weak storm also making landfall there in that same spot where Marco made landfall. Canadian model. Let's see about the Canadian model. Now, Canadian model is more of an easterly track. Oops. Let me go back. Uh, 9.96 for also for Laura, so it's showing it a be quite a bit weaker actually. Uh, now, as far as the Navy, Navy has a really cutting through Cuba and making landfall as a very very weak storm. H wharf. Let's say about the H wharf, Laura. Now the H wharf seems like it hasn't updated because it's showing basically just Cuba and then it stops the track. So that's actually hasn't been updated. Now the Hmon uh, for Laura basically says, uh, let's see. Now one thing I want to guys point out is this, uh, the storms are having, a, uh, the forecast models are having a really hard time predicting where these things are going to hit in the intensity. But 991 is actually not that, it's a weak storm still. But in the Gulf, again, we're gonna have to wait for probably the 11 p 11 p.m. update. That's gonna have more of a of a uh, track update and see what is gonna happen. But anyways, guys, that's what I have for you guys right now. Quick update there. I know it took a little longer than expected, but some stuff wasn't loading up. Subscribe to my channel. Any questions, comments, put them on the comment section. And one thing I wanted to also ask you guys if if you guys like this type of videos, um, I'm doing this basically for my cell phone. Let me know because, like I said, I was having a little bit of trouble with the computer. So if you guys like this type of videos, it's easier for me to make them. So at this point, if you guys like them, I will definitely continue making them since it's much easier for me to make them. Uh, let me know on the comment section below. And other than that, I'll keep you guys posted uh, potentially tonight 
Let's see if I make another video. If I have a chance, I will make another video. If not, tomorrow morning. Other than that, stay safe, guys. Have a good day.